and there's been several discussions with interested parties, but it's been, from my perspective, it's kind of disingenuous to have a discussion about developing on Southwick when the city didn't control it. It'd be more conceptual in nature. Well, now we can have more direct conversations, and we've had those direct conversations starting this morning. The last major announcement regarding Southwick was two years ago. The administration of then Mayor Mike Bell announced that a company called MJW Developers was going to turn the vacant lot into a sports complex with retail stores and a hotel. The sports complex was to contain an ice rink, basketball and volleyball courts, a soccer field and water park. Days later though, the project was scrapped when city officials learned the lead developer was listed as a defendant in dozens of lawsuits in Lucas County. Matt Sapara, the City of Toledo's Director of Economic Development, says he understands why people may be skeptical about any announcement concerning Southwick. In the brief time that he has represented District 2 on City Council, Matt Cherry has heard an earful from his constituents about the problems with the Clarion Hotel and Southwick. The condition of that property is horrible and everyone in that neighborhood and I think it, just about every South Toledo and out in District 2 can't wait to see something go in there. The mayor's office released this rendering of what the development of the Southwick site might look like. But at the end of the day, the goal is, is to create a project out there that creates as many jobs as possible and offers the most economic impact to that corridor.